Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Okay, so I've been busy. Um, I, I've been, I, I uh, made up a, um, a little farm over here. I think I started it before. Um, but yeah, I, I got these here, all the pumpkins uh, planted here. And I don't have anything for this pot, uh, spot any, right now. But um, the reason I put this here is so the pumpkins, uh, when they grow, they flop that way and not this way. Um, because I don't have anything planted here like these. Um, the carrots on the side of the uh, watermelon, um, when you have something planted, it won't flop over onto a planted area. Um, it'll go uh, to the nearest unplanted area so that's why this one flopped this way uh, which I would like it to flop that way but it takes whatever I mean I could have blocked it off but I, you know why so yeah I put I got all this planted um, got a pretty big area now and I also went out and gathered a bunch of uh, or actually I made a bunch of pens and I gathered uh, two of each animal and came back and started feeding them and next thing you know I have a, uh, a plethora of animals so yeah and the horse I'm not sure how the hell the horse got in there I did not put him in there um, so I just came out one day and there he was so I got an extra horse I guess these two horses over here are actually uh, tamed um, and rideable um, the hell was that let me turn this up. I heard something. Um, but anyway, um, they are rideable. And um, I, I can ride them off when I go exploring. Exploring, I'll ride them uh, heading out. Uh, let me gather up some of these eggs. Get away from the door, you little shit. All right. Um... So yeah, I started out with two, and I just started feeding them, feeding them every time I go and come out, and I made a little area over here, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Um, looks like it's getting ready to get dark, and then I started going out, and when I find a uh, a flower, I'll paint, turn it to dye, and I'll I'll dye these guys up uh, different colors. I want two of each color, and uh, I think it'd be interesting to see. Um, what colors they make when I uh, have them breeding. Alright, so I have... There's my food chest right there. Okay. And I need... um, I got two apples so I can get the horses breeding. But I can't feed them. Uh, because every time I click on them, it... it, uh, it yeah, I go to ride them. I can't just feed them. So I'm guessing I need wild horses. So, um... I gotta find a lead because unfortunately I don't, I can't make a lead in uh, vanilla. There's no um, none. There's no um, recipe that I've seen uh, to make that uh, lead. So I have to find one in a dungeon somewhere, I guess. Um, but yeah, first before I show you that building, I wanted to show you uh, before I showed you all the caves that were over here. Um, and this is the cave that I actually went down into that I ran around here and it uh, basically it makes a circle and comes back goes down that way and that's the cave that I went down into and mine the last time um, that I recorded but I wanted to just kind of show you what I live around and this is not planned I did not come looking for these uh, you know and I mean I recorded when I uh, uh, set up here, so you know, you know that I didn't like look out for each thing, you know. But there's a, a start of one there. I don't think that one's really big. But then you got these here. Look at this. This is incredible. Got this here, this one here, which is attached to that. Um, but then you got this over here. That one going that way. You got this one over here. 
then you got this one over here. This is this is absolutely mind blowing. How many freaking cave systems are around where I live? Um, and the funny thing is, I think there's another one over in here somewhere. I was out there doing something, gathering or looking for uh, uh, flowers and all, and I damn near fell in one somewhere over in there. Um, but anyway, it, it's amazing when I, uh, whenever I set up a house, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I can almost build a house on the edge of a cliff or edge of a, an area like this and not even know it until I finish the house up and step out the door and almost fall down. <laughs> it's, it's unreal. Um, but yeah, there, the, uh, the only time that I did not have luck on finding something like that was when I did my hardcore. The hardcore was the my the most unluckiest thing I've ever done. I mean, I go down in here and there's like iron for days. There's coal everywhere. There's uh, the only thing I haven't found was I haven't gone deep enough to really get into diamond and stuff. But um, anyway, yeah, it, it's it's just unbelievable unbelievable okay so this place here is my special house okay this is uh i named it madman's wall of fame okay and i haven't found something i want something on here but i'm not sure what i want to put on there yet but um and the doors i made the uh, dark oak wood doors and no matter how i place the door it it's always like this it's never like this one here Oh, I need to eat. I was wondering why I couldn't run anymore. Um, but when you do like these, uh, as far as I know, I mean, I haven't tried the double doors, but I know it used to be where you put a door in like here, then the uh, um, handles would be side by side. Um, so it just it looks really weird like this. So you know, I I don't know what it is is something about the dark oak or whatever but anyway you come in here and this is the chest that's going to have all the signs i'm going to have uh, a whole crap ton of signs made up all right and this is going to be where everyone um has an opportunity to have their name uh on the wall and um a quote underneath of their name um so i'll i'll let you know uh when we're going to start that and it's going to be real soon. I haven't finished this all the way, but this is actually hallways, all right? And you're going to, all these are going to be filled with names all the way down. Um, and I'm not going to show you the whole thing yet, but if going uh, further that way, there's even more. Um, and I'll, I'll show you all that when the time is right. Um, but anyway, all these hallways are going to be filled, and each one of these um, will be yours, you know, if, if that makes any sense. So whoever I pick uh, for that day, that week, uh, whatever, um, however I do this, um, this whole four-foot section will be yours. So your name, uh, ideally, will be here on like this block and your quote will be here on this block but if your quote or whatever you want to say takes up two spaces then you'll have these two or three spaces you'll have these three so you'll have a whole bunch of um, you know uh, something to put in there so what I was planning originally was your name to go in this block your quote or whatever you want to you know, put here uh, and, and this one and then as time goes on and if you get a second um, drawing and your name gets picked again you get another quote on the bottom um, and then we can keep a tally up here you know and then if um, if by chance you know it keeps going on you get, and your name gets picked a third and fourth time then we can change these out and, and make new quotes or whatever but you'll still have a tally and I'll have something else that's uh, kind of um, nice, you know, for you or whatever. Maybe I'll make a, 
a separate room that's just yours and you know we'll uh, set it up anyway whatever way we can um, uh, and and that kind of plays in also to um, something else that I've been thinking of um, now this is Minecraft it, it's and I named it just basically Minecraft all right it's not hardcore it's not um, feed the beast it, it's whatever Minecraft that, that I feel like doing at the time and there is uh, one Minecraft uh, feed the beast that I have been keeping in my eye on for a long long time now and I'd like to play it but I'm not sure how it's gonna go I, I did have problems with it when I was testing it out before but not the major problems that I had um, with the other ones um, so I, I wouldn't mind trying it and it basically it's a uh, Minecraft with villagers um, that I can create my own village and build it up um, and they actually build their own places but I tell them what to build and where to build it um, and uh, and then there's like NPCs that come and attack, you know. Um, so it's a pretty cool little mod. It, it's an older mod. It, it's a very old mod. It hasn't been updated in uh, in a long, long time, um, which is fine with me because it seems like uh, when they update stuff, uh, they always something goes wrong with it, and then I won't be able to play it. Um, but right now, I do have on my test. Uh, game that I haven't I, uh, be honest I haven't played it in a while so um, but when I stopped playing it um, I had a uh, very big village set up and um, it, it was uh, I mean pretty much I mean, nothing was coming to attack me and anytime soon I mean that was for sure every time something came in there my guys would take care of them um, so it was, it was pretty fun playing it and I wanted to record it but then uh, I got really aggravated with um, the other one that I was playing and um, it kind of got me away from Feed the Beast altogether for, for a while um, but I've been thinking about bringing that one uh, starting that one as a recording and I've also been thinking about um, CivTech Ages um, now CivTech Ages I'm not going to lie, I, I've been watching um, Duncan, Shin, and Lewis play, and the game itself looks really, really good. Now, I'm not sure how well it's going to play as a single player. Um, from what I was reading, it sounded like it's uh, kind of made for a single player, and uh, the multiplayer... Um, was like an afterthought for it, uh, which turned out pretty good. Um, so, yeah, but I've been thinking about that too. So, I really, really, really need your guys' help with this. And uh, let me know if you would like me to try to play that. Um, you know, I need you guys to leave comments and, and stuff to let me know what you need or what you want to see. But, um, I, for... I guess for right now I'm going to be playing this and this is Windows 10 version of Minecraft and um, I'll be building this up uh, I'll be building on to uh, my wall of fame area here and I'll be building other houses and other uh, structures uh, as we go along too um, like I want to build a big barn back here for all my uh, animals um, but I also want to start other stuff and uh, kind of have that as an ongoing thing too. Um, it, kind of a way to break up the monotony of um, just playing one type of Minecraft. Um, so like one week, um, yeah, and, and I have no problems going back to uh, doing a two uh, Minecrafts a week. Um, type thing so like one day it could be this Minecraft and the next day um, that I put it out it could be uh, let's say CivTech Ages you know and then uh, the next week I could do uh, the uh, other Minecraft the village Minecraft um, 
and this one. You know, and the next week it could be like the um, Subtech Ages in the Village. You know, kind of, kind of a good way to kind of break it up um, so it doesn't become monotonous. Oh, hello, Monsieur Skeletion. I didn't think it was uh, enough time for anything to spawn. I thought I went to bed fairly quickly, but apparently I was wrong. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I gotta do some other stuff in here and uh, and get some some stuff going. Uh, but also, um, I wanted to throw that out there and see what you guys thought. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Um, now I'll, I'll probably be setting something up within the next uh, I would say two weeks or so um, unless you guys really want me to start something different uh, beforehand um, but this episode is basically I wanted to show you what a what I got done so far and also um, to ask you what you thought about the other Minecrafts um, so you know I want your input on it and your feedback let me know what you think um, so there's two other options, uh, Civtech Ages and the Village one. So and I can't remember the Village one, <laughs> what the title of it is, so I'll just call it the Village. Um, but um, I could do uh, one or the other or both um, and have all three going. Uh, like I said, it, it wouldn't be an issue with me. Um, and, you know... I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it. So let me know what you guys want. If you want to see something different, um, you know, other than just plain old vanilla Minecraft, uh, you know, the, as far as I can see, like the Subtech Ages, it starts out at age zero. Um, you start basically like a caveman, and you got to learn everything. Um, and then you work your way up through the ages until you uh, go to space. So there'll be something for everything, basically, on that one. It, you know, um, and you learn it as you go along. Um, so it's not like you just jump right in and okay, I know this crafting recipe right off the hand, right off the bat. It's not like that. So um, and then. Uh, the village one is just basically setting up a village and uh, or building up a village and um, seeing how far you can go with that you know and, and you can take like uh, as far as I can tell you can take like warriors with you um, have them follow you and you'll go you can go out and search for other things and um, and uh, I was hoping to get that one on uh, on like multiplayer so you could basically have one player on um, one part of the world and, and another player on, one, on another part of the world and you build up your village and then try to attack each other, you know, and see who's the best and all. Um, so I, I thought that was pretty cool too, you know, a cool aspect of the game. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll see how it goes and, and see what happens. But yeah, uh, let me know on, in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking and uh, let me know what you want to see. And, and I'm always happy to read uh, any comments that you want to leave uh, good bad or indifferent so it doesn't matter to me um, that's how I know what you guys want you know um, so anyway pound that like button share with your friends and subscribe and always remember to enjoy everything that you do if you don't no point in doing it I'll see you on the flip side